India's largest winemaker, Sula Vineyards, filed its IPO DRHP recently. Sula Vineyards reported a strong uh, third quarter update, so 13% jump in their overall revenues year on year. Drinking wine is now trendy in India, especially wine produced in what could be called India's own Napa Valley. Nashik. Sula Wine, India's largest wine maker, isn't just producing wine, but also creating a market for its product. We have a fantastic journey ahead. Uh, Sula is the leader in that. India is changing so fast. Wine has terrific prospects. Hello everyone, and welcome back to another exciting episode of our underrated Indian Business Maharaja series. Today, we have an incredible success story to share with you, the rise of Sula Wines, the king of the Indian wine market. We'll delve into their journey, business strategies, and the valuable lessons we can learn from their remarkable ascent. Sula Wines is not just your average winemaker, they've carved out a dominant position in the Indian wine industry. Imagine this, while some of their competitors like Fratelli Vines and Grover Zampa have substantial land acreages, Sula alone boasts a staggering 2,600 acres, more than the combined total of their nearest three competitors. What's even more astonishing is that they've managed to turn out their wine inventory in a remarkably short time, despite producing five times more wine than their competitors. So, what set Sula apart? Well, one significant factor was the Maharashtra government's grape processing policy introduced in 2001. It significantly eased the process of obtaining approvals for winery operations, reduced excise duties, and provided a single window clearance system for essential licenses and infrastructure. This policy change catalyzed the growth of the wine industry in Maharashtra, and soon Karnataka followed suit with its wine policy. But it wasn't until the global economic crisis in 2008 that Sula truly distinguished itself. In that tumultuous year, Generations, a giant in the Indian wine industry with a 60% market share, made risky investments that resulted in unsustainable losses. As a result, they had to liquidate their assets, leaving grape suppliers high and dry. This is where Sula stepped in as a savior for these grape suppliers. They offered these farmers contracts at affordable prices, ensuring a steady supply of high-quality grapes for themselves and a reliable income source for the farmers. Sula understood that the Indian wine market was different from the global market. While most global wine drinkers were over 45, in India, more than 50% of wine drinkers fell in the age group of 23 to 37. This realization led to a unique strategy during the 2008 crisis. Instead of cutting costs during the economic downturn, Sula made a bold move by investing in Sula Fest, an enthralling wine and music festival. This festival offered an unforgettable experience, with music, camping under the stars, foot massages, and, of course, an exquisite range of Sula wines. Sula Fest quickly became a massive hit, drawing a crowd of 10,000 people in 2020 and becoming one of the largest wine festivals in Asia. This strategy allowed Sula to not only create unforgettable memories for its customers but also educate them about the various wine options and qualities. Plus, it offered an avenue for marketing new wine varieties to festival goers. You might wonder why international giants haven't taken over the Indian wine market. Well, here are the significant barriers that deter them. First, the Indian government imposes a hefty 150% import duty on foreign wines. This makes imported wines considerably more expensive for consumers. Secondly, sourcing raw materials like grapes becomes a challenge for foreign companies, as 6 to minus 70% of grape farmers are already tied to Sula. Lastly, securing suitable land for wineries in India is no easy task. Sula's journey holds valuable lessons for budding entrepreneurs and business enthusiasts. Let's discuss a few key takeaways from the rise of the Indian wine king. Sula exemplifies the importance of creating robust barriers to entry in your industry. Sula Fest, their unique supply chain, and 12-year farmer contracts have made it incredibly challenging for competitors to replicate their success. Even a billionaire wanting to enter the wine business would find these barriers difficult to overcome. Sula's commitment to providing an exceptional customer experience sets them apart. While many alcohol brands rely on surrogate marketing, Sula chose to go beyond and create the memorable Sula Fest. This unique event educates first-time wine tasters, making Sula more than just a brand but an unforgettable experience. 
So, there you have it, the remarkable journey of Sula Wines from a humble startup to the king of the Indian wine market. They leveraged government policies, supported grape suppliers, understood the Indian market, and created barriers that keep international giants at bay. Their story offers invaluable lessons for aspiring entrepreneurs and showcases the power of innovation and understanding your audience. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this episode of our underrated Indian Business Maharaja series both informative and inspiring. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more success stories from the world of Indian business. Until next time, keep innovating and keep thriving.